I'm a poor orphan with no money or connections and will do literally anything to make Emma keep liking me. Dumb like a fox. It's far too chilly for friendship. I shall now matchmake you, Harriet. This seems like a bad idea. Oh, Knightley, just because you're my hot, rich neighbor slash brother-in-law doesn't mean you know stuff. All my plans work out perfectly. Harriet, these are the supporting characters. You should feel bad for Miss Bates. Take a good look at my depressing life. It could be yours if you don't marry well. My social subjugation is an intentional byproduct of a patriarchal system. And you should fall in love with Mr. Elton. Okay. Miss Emma Woodhouse, you're so hot and rich today. Miss Smith, matchmaking is going great. <laughs> Solvent and upstanding local farmer Robert Martin proposed to me. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but if you marry him, I will drop you as a friend. You probably just ruined that girl's life. Whatever, she's totally gonna marry Mr. Elton. <sighs> Bad news, Harriet. Mr. Elton proposed to me and not you. <gasps> That's it. But, but I fell in love with him because you told me to. Uh, whoops. <gasps> Dad. Here's my niece, Jane Fairfax, who is hardworking and beautiful, but poor. Mm. Hey, Emma. Ew. I feel threatened by you because you forced me to confront my own worst qualities. Frank is in the village! Sup, Jane. Long time no see. We're casual acquaintances. This guy is hot and rich like me, so he will therefore inevitably fall in love with me. What an honor to bear witness to the petty intrigues of the ownership class while living off the crumbs of their grotesque excess. I think I may be in love with Frank Churchill. <sighs> Here's Frank! Oh, well. Hey, Jane. I'm no longer in love with Frank Churchill. Time to fob him off on Harriet. Could you not? Oh, what a nice day of friendship and togetherness. Ew, Miss Bates, you're boring. Don't talk anymore. <laughs> Emma, rude. As a hot, rich person, you have a responsibility to be kind to poor, ugly people. Mm, well, when you put it that way, I feel bad. <sighs> Sorry. Here's an expensive gift! Wow, thanks. I totally do not perceive the disparity between the high value this has to me and the low effort it cost you. Great! Wow, Emma, you're showing personal growth. I know, right? <sighs> Since nobody is dancing with you, Harriet, I will. As a favor, not because I like you. You saved me! In a total left turn from this story's plot and tone, Harriet was just attacked by gypsies. You saved me. <gasps> I'm in love with someone who recently saved me. Must be Frank. My matchmaking plans are working out perfectly. Exposition time. Frank and my niece, Jane Fairfax, were secretly engaged and are now married. Everybody forgave him for lying because, well, because he's hot and rich. But when the revolution comes, we'll eat him first. Meanwhile, Knightley thinks Emma is disappointed because she's in love with Frank, and Emma thinks Harriet is disappointed because she's in love with Frank. But it turns out they're secretly both in love with Knightley. And who wins? The same people that always do. The rich. <laughs> Emma, marry me. I've been in love with you since you were 13 and I was 29. That's really creepy, actually. I'm very into it. Oh. But what about Harriet? She can just, uh, marry that farmer guy. How convenient. Everything works out for me with zero effort on my part. That's because we're... Done with the oligarchy, death to the ruling class.